Okay, this is Mr. Hover. I'm going to show you in this video um, how to approach the projectile lab that you're going to be working on today. In general, this is also going to present um, how you would use Logger Pro to do a video analysis. So let's get started. We will open up Logger Pro. And we need to insert the movie of interest. For this particular lab, I've put four video files of different projectile throws that you're going to analyze. So I'll go to insert and movie and you're probably going to need to go to my computer and handout hover and then there's a folder called projectile videos and we've got the four cases that we're going to look at. I'll pick number one here, the underhand toss and that will come up in Logger Pro. Now to do this analysis, you need to turn on the toolbar, which is this button down here in the lower right. And I've got this queued up in the clip, so the ball has just left my hand. And the first thing you do, need to do whenever you do a video analysis is define a known position in the video so that the position on the screen can be converted by Logger Pro to a real position in meters. So the toolbar button to do that is right here. It looks like a ruler. It says set scale. Click on that. Now on the table in the video, you'll see a meter stick laid out. And I put two markers behind it so you can see where the ends are. And as best as you can, you want to click and drag the length of the meter stick. Let me cancel that. So you can redo it if you're not confident with the setting. And it's asking you how long is that object. It's set at a meter, so I'll click OK. Next thing you probably want to do is set the origin, your 0, 0 position. That's this toolbar button here. And I'm just going to click it kind of near where I threw the ball. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. And then I'm ready to get some data. I want to add points with this toolbar button here. And you basically put the crosshairs at the middle of the tennis ball. You click, and it will advance a frame 1 30th of a second. Click again. And you can click for the entire path. Now, I'm not going to show you exactly what it looks like, but let me click over here in the graph. And I've got some data points. I've got X, or horizontal position, plotting in red, and the Y position plotting in blue. You're going to have a lot more data if you do the full flight. And you want to find a model or an equation for each of those position versus time uh, data plots that you get. So you're going to want to click and highlight the data and go right to these tool toolbar buttons here. If you think it's a linear relationship, use linear. If you think it's a curve, you can use the curve fit tool. And you can choose which um, one you want to look at, X or Y. It'll only do one at a time. And the trick is trying to find which relationship type you think it is. Um, and you've got a whole bunch that you can choose from. And you'll have to look at the full data set to try to figure that on your own. Once you have it, you just pick which one you think it looks like and try fit. Again, that's only if you think it's a curve. If you need to do a curve fit. If you think it's a linear relationship, just hit your linear fit button and it will give you the equation. So you're going to want to analyze all four clips and write up a lab report. You only need to fully analyze one of the four cases in the lab report, and then just explain the end result in the conclusion for the other three. And hopefully you can draw some conclusions and some generalizations about uh, what's similar between all four trials. Good luck.